Alright, what is going on everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Simply Pops here, taking a look at the Lola Mini Tripod. This baby right here is going to set you back $30 on Amazon. Um, price may vary depending on the day, obviously. Um, and I gotta say, I had this thing running about two months right now, and so far, it's it's amazing. Um, so you can see, Loha, Loha, alright? And right away from the bat, you notice this is not your, this is a typical mini tripod. You know, you can bend this, you know, if you want. You can take it apart if you want. You can bend it, any anything you want with it. But notice it's not that, that ball material of it. You guys know your typical mini tripod had like the little balls. And I know that's what she said, I know. But this one here is just featuring like a nice little rubber. You guys can see, pay attention to the details of that. Um, it just makes it like a nice little rubber material, um, nice little pad into it, and inside of it you have little stuff that you can bend inside of it. I know I'm using the wrong terminology, but I'm doing the best I can. Um, here you got a nice little turning point, so this is going to tighten up the top, aka the, the swivel on the top. Basically, if you twist this around, it's going to be nice and loose, so I guess if you want to turn it, you can do that, and then you can tighten it up by twisting this. So it's nice and tight. This level right here, basically, you can take the, your camera off. Matter of fact, I got my little iPhone 6 here. This is not my real phone. This is just a dummy phone just for the convenience of this video. So yeah, you can actually use your phone. You're just going to have to pick one of these up, like a little um, a phone clip. You can vlog if you want. Please don't let it be the front-facing camera. Watch it be all right. Yeah, so yeah, you can vlog if you want using your iPhone like this. And if you want, you could probably, let me move the camera. And if you want, you could put it down. And you have it, you can adjust it if you like. Just like that. And there you got, you have it right there. Let me take this. Um, so basically you can take this part off, right? And basically this is like a totally separate piece. So you can screw that off too if you want. This is like taking it off the tripod mount. You guys can see this part is disconnected. And there's a little disclaimer. If you lose this piece, if you're playing around with this piece, please don't. Because obviously, if you don't have it, then where are you gonna how are you gonna put your how are you gonna put your camera? You're gonna be asked that. So uh, you know, just keep it together, you know, try to have it in one place. One thing I do like about this uh, mini tripod, it has a built-in level to make sure you got that clear shot. So if I can try to have this picture straight, see look right now it's nice and straight, it's centered, and I definitely do like that. So when you vlog in, maybe you can have it like this, or maybe if you want to take that nice crisp shot, I said crisp shot. <laughs> if you want to take that nice crisp shot, you can put it down and make sure you're, you're leveled. See, I can put it down, make sure it's leveled. Okay, and you're ready to take that shot. So um, I'm gonna I'm a hook up my camera. Pretty neat. It doesn't come with this. You have to buy this separately. And yeah, so let's put my camera on this tripod. Alrighty guys, so I got the camera mount here. You guys can see. I'm sorry for the quality. I'm using my front facing iPhone 6 Plus camera. You guys can kind of see. I'm right here now. You guys can see I'm, I'm holding it nice and firm. Alright, normally when I'm vlogging in public, I vlog like this. So you guys can kind of see the difference. Like I'm vlogging down. But sometimes you don't want to hold it up all the time. Sometimes our arms get tired and you, you know, sometimes you switch hands and sometimes you just hold it down like this to kind of rest your hand. So when you use a grip now, which I'm really a righty, uh, but okay, yeah. So this is a lot better. So now when you vlog in, I, you see I have it down. You guys can see I have the, the camera down, but yet it's still looking up. You can do anything and it gives you that grip too. And that's really why I brought it. And at any time, if you want, you can you can put it down somewhere. You can put the camera down somewhere, take a couple of shots. And yeah, so shout out to Casey Nasdaq. He kind of inspired me to really get this. I thought it was dumb to really get. You know, I just got a full-size tripod, but having a mini tripod, believe it or not, is important, especially when you're trying to vlog. And I got this specifically for vlogging. You guys can see a nice little close-up again. Yeah, just showing you guys why I got it, my hand is low, but it's still on your screen, it's looking high. And that's exactly why I got it. And 
yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did i appreciate it with a thumbs up let me know down in the comments down below if you guys have any questions i'll be sure to you know reply back to your comments as soon as possible and i catch you guys on my next video peace out and no yeah they normally call the old tripod like the you know the, they call those the anal b tripod and <laughs> This one is definitely do look mature too, especially if you're vlogging in public. This one definitely do looks more mature. But if you don't care what people think, I think this is still a good tripod for thirty dollars. You cannot beat the price. Believe it or not, you are getting a lot of good stuff, man. For thirty dollars, um, you know the the typical twenty dollar ones don't even come with this top part here. It just come with the tripod mount on the bottom there. And you know, at one point I was about to get the twenty dollar one, but I said why not? Let's dish out the extra. Um, Let's dish out the extra $10, why not? And I definitely did got my money's worth. And you guys won't be disappointed with this.